Hi, we're looking at uh, our Roman series, part three, Security in God. And today we're looking at security in God's gifts. Um, our text is Romans 8.30. And it says, Moreover, whom he predestined, these he called, and whom he called, he also justified, and whom he justified, these he also glorified. Moreover, whom he predestined, then he also called, and whom he called, he also justified, and whom he justified, these he also glorified. You know, sometimes we feel that God isn't a, a, a giving God. You know, we feel that sometimes, you know, we don't get answers to prayer, and we wonder whether God really cares. But we need to realize that God has given us amazing gifts. You know, it's kind of like a, a daughter who's who's turned uh, 16 and the father buys the daughter a car the the the, the father's a, a millionaire and he buys her a car now the daughter knows that even though her father has bought a car bought her her, her a car she knows her dad's a millionaire and she knows that her dad has got loads of money loads of resources and that one day He's going to leave her loads of, of money and loads of uh, loads of that wealth to her. And she's happy because of this. Well, you know, God has given us spiritual gifts. All right. He's given us a, a, a down payment, but there's going to be more to come. Spiritual things, not not material, but spiritual things of knowing him. And so if you look at verse 30. It says, Moreover, whom he predestined, then he called. Whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. So the gifts are that before you were born, he chose you. That he called you. That God knocked on your heart and said, Hey, come and trust in me. That was a gift. You would have never known God unless God would have called you. He justified you. God provided your salvation. You know, the only way to know God is through atonement, through sacrifice for sin. And God provided that sacrifice in his son through Jesus Christ, who died in your place. Christ died on your behalf for your sin. And then, not only has he called you, justified you, he's going to glorify you. And what that means is, it's kind of like, do you remember Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? And, uh, you know, there was a young lad there, and Willy Wonka, he gave him some chocolate. And the guy bit the chocolate, but then Willy Wonka took him to a river of chocolate. And, he, and, the, and the big chubby boy saw the river of chocolate. And then the river of chocolate went to a fountain, and he, he saw all the chocolate coming down the fountain. And in a way, that's what God's going to do to us. He's going to spiritually glorify us. He gives us a taste like a little chocolate he gives us a taste of his grace and his presence of his love but one day we're going to see god and we're going to have an avalanche we're going to have a a waterfall of his joy and of love like we've never known before and that's his glorification where we see god in all his glory and these are god's gifts that he's given you and they're wonderful gifts if you turn to Romans chapter 5, verse 5. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given, given to us. The Holy Spirit has given us a taste and, a, and a, an, under, an understanding of these wonderful gifts. And verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love to us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He's, he's given the gift of his son. And we're going to know more of his son forever and ever. So don't be discouraged today. You might feel that God hasn't answered some of your prayers. You might feel struggling today. But you need to know that God's given you these wonderful gifts. He chose you. He's called you. He's died for you. And he's going to bring glory to you in the last in, 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 when you die. And, it, and it's going to be amazing to be with God. And so you've got these wonderful gifts and you're rich in Christ today. All right. Thank you for listening and God bless you.